time, I'd like to invite all children ages 3 through 5th grade forward for a special children's time. Good morning, everyone. It's so good to be back with you. Well, today I'm going to start off by turning your attention to a special picture that I'm going to show you on our screen. So I invite you to turn your heads, and we're going to look at a special picture. What is this picture of? A bowl of fruit, right? What are some of the fruits that you see in this bowl? Orange, apples, oh, okay, maybe some grapes, okay, it could be a grape, and maybe a banana, right? A banana, right? Those are some wonderful types of fruit that you see there in that bowl. What are some of your favorite kinds of fruit? Name some of, okay, apples, strawberries, mangoes, pomegranates, wow. Orange and bananas, bananas, yes, those are good, yes. Texas red grapefruit. Wow, we're getting very specific on our, you know, those do all sound really good, especially the last one right there, right? Now, these are wonderful types of fruit that we've talked about, but did you know in God's Word that there's some talk about some fruit? In fact, there's a special little letter called Galatians. Can you say Galatians? This was a special letter that someone named Paul, can you say Paul? He was a special follower of Jesus, and he wrote this letter. And in this letter of Galatians, say Galatians, he wrote a special verse and talked about some different types of fruit. So let's go ahead and read that special verse from Galatians chapter 5. We're going to read it together. Go ahead and turn your, your heads. We're going to look at this verse. Ready? Let's read it together. Ready? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, right? Those are nine different fruits that we've just read about. And what the Apostle Paul is talking about is that since you are a child of God, that means you're Jesus is, you have this wonderful gift of faith. And I've talked to you about this gift of faith. That means that you trust in Jesus, that wonderful gift of trust. And what it also means is that you have this wonderful person called the Holy Spirit who is working inside of you. And what happens is, since you're Jesus and you have this wonderful Holy Spirit, you start to have some of these wonderful fruits that He makes happen in you. These, these fruits of love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and self-control, all these nine fruits that happen. So when you guys are interacting, when you're at school and when you're with your friends, what's amazing is that you want to be loving. You want to be joyful and kind and patient and caring and, and, and have self-control, right? Now, are we always kind? Are we always patient? No, probably not. I'm glad you guys are admitting that. I know sometimes it's hard to be patient. It's sometimes hard to be kind. But you know, the Holy Spirit helps you do those wonderful things. He helps make those wonderful fruits in you. Isn't that amazing what God does? So let's go ahead and I'm going to tell you today your special, oh, almost, but uh, <laughs> almost there, but it's coming. Don't worry. I think they know what's in this box. Um, but today, to remind you of this special pa passage from Galatians 5, talking about the fruits of the Spirit, you're going to get a special little giveaway, some of these special little special fruit snacks. Each of you is going to get, in fact, I'm going to give each of you two of these. 
two of these today, and you're going to get one, and you can share with someone else too, as you remind them of these special fruits of the Spirit that we've just heard about from God's Word. And I encourage you guys to read God's Word. Stay reading in, in, in God's Word all the time with your families, even if it's just one little verse at night. Yep. You have lots of fruit snacks at your, at your parents' house. That's wonderful. All right, now you have more. But let's go ahead and pray, and then I'm going to give you even more. By the way, they do have vitamin C in it. I did read that. So we are, there is a little bit of a, some good nutrition in it. So let's go ahead, and we're going to fold our hands, and we're going to say a special prayer to Jesus who is with us right now. Let's fold our hands. We can do it this way or this way. We're going to pray to Jesus. Ready? Say, Dear Jesus, thank you for the Holy Spirit and for saving us. Help us to love others as you love us. Amen. Okay, come get your two-pack.